Hi, it's me again, Vicki. Um, today, guess what? It's snowing in northwest Arkansas. This is amazing for this time of year. I took some of those dry ginkgo leaves and some that weren't curled up. I'm pressing them onto a, a Ranger archival ink pad. And pieces have fallen off. But... If you're real careful, take that and press it right onto your speedy carve. That's just a scrap of what I had laying here. And voila. See? That could be another little carving. Just for grins, let's see what else we've got. And then I'm going to throw these away because they're, they're making a big mess. That one's kind of got a pretty shape. Let's see what we can do with him. Besides getting ink all over my fingers. Yep. Nope. Alright, no problem. Just pick up that piece and put it back on there. And there you go. Of course, now I've got leaf pieces all over my stamp. See how I carve those? That'd be kind of pretty for small stamps. I might do that later. Okay, now, I know this is hard to believe, but I wake up with ideas that are fully formed, and I usually just can't wait to get in here and try them. So I'm going to clean off the ginkgos. I think we've got enough impressions of those. Okay, now, I have two pieces of sticky back fun foam. This is the thin stuff. I uh, hear that you can find the thicker stuff and if you do get it I'm gonna put one of those aside and this is what I woke up with I didn't clean off my desk so I have all of these all those little scraps from the video the other day and that was a piece of paper. That's a piece of ginkgo. Let's see. Aha. Now you got a good idea. Yeah, would you just look at that piece of paper, get out the ginkgo, I'm just going to mush that around, I don't want too much overlap. Here's some more. Another piece of paper. Okay, so these are all of the gray scraps. Yep, ginkgo. Paper. Not that that really matters. 
Now, I've never done this before. But since when did that matter? I don't want that little guy straight in there. I want him... If this works, Ripley's, believe it or not, Yeah. That's a big old stem. There's no telling what's on this table. Alright. Stick. Now, get the other piece. I'm going to tear the backing off. This stuff is really sticky. Now I'm just going to lay that, line it up. I'm going to lay that on top of my design. Rub it down as good as I can. You see I'm rubbing it pretty hard. You can see the pattern and the texture from rubbing it. I just want to get as much of the sticky in contact as I can. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it'll release. Aha! Look at that. Would you just look at that? Now that is going to make a good pattern. Most of it's stuck. How cool is that? Oops, that's stick. Oh well, it doesn't matter. In fact, that grabbed most of the scrap. This stuff is as sticky as duct tape. Potato chip crumb, maybe. No, I think that's part of a ginkgo. I'm just going to leave it. Now, I'm going to take this piece of scrap paper and my handy dandy brayer. Whoop. <laughs> that worked. By the way, this paper is a dry wax paper that was all wadded up in an order that I got from Mr. Art. And I knew it was kind of a lightweight craft paper, but it does have a waxy surface, so I just have pieces of it. And when one gets really dirty, or if it gets some interesting parts on it, I'll save it for collage. But hey, it works great. That one's still got some life in it. Now... What are we going to do to ink this baby? And what kind of paper are we going to put it on? It's a piece of that construction paper I bought last week. Let's see. Piece of foam underneath it. Cushion. I got that tip from Tina last week. Let's go with this um, oregano. Just because it's kind of an earthy color and this is kind of grass looking. Let's see if we can ink this. Now again, these are the gray scraps from the Richardson Lino Cut material. The little shreds and pieces.
and I'm going to put the paper down on top. Let's do it this way so we can save some paper. Then we'll get the brayer. And we're going to see what kind of an imprint we get. It may take more than one inking. Let's see. Ah, cool. Now tell me that's not cool. Let's start with a different color. This is archival manganese blue. Again with the paper. And the sticky on that foam will go away with time and with paper that sticks to it. I think you could use something like baby powder, which I don't have any of. And that would coat it, probably baking soda would do the same thing. And coat the sticky so it wouldn't, but this is a demo, so. Cool, don't you think? There we go. Middle of the night idea. Except it's a dream state idea. Not middle of the night. Because I don't wake up when I have these ideas. This uh, handy wipe from yesterday. I'll keep those around for a day or two too. And use those for collages. Let's see if there's anything left on here. That's the backing paper from the phone. Don't want to waste anything. Don't want to waste any ink. I've got a little bit of a ghost print there. and This is slick paper, so it may not adhere, but I'm just going to throw it up there and let it dry. There you have it, sports fans. Bye.